Honda is going to be promising us two sporty EVs and one of them is going to be a successor to the Honda NSX. But there's one caveat to this. It is going to be an all electric Honda NSX. It is not going to be the hybrid that the NSX has been in the past. However, with that said, it's like a love hate relationship with electric cars. You don't get the sound, but they're fast as hell. Anybody watching this video that has in fact been in a Tesla before knows. Just do yourself a favor and find somebody with a Tesla or go to a Tesla dealership, test out a Tesla and put it in berserk mode. The craziest thing in the entire universe, brother. It is like faster than a twin turbo Huracan. I know this. It is a fact that this is a thing. Anybody that has ever watched the car meet videos knows my buddy Brian has a twin turbo Huracan. I gotta be honest. The twin turbo Huracan is probably faster, but it's like so close, bro. It's like so close. Go to Stradman's channel, right? This man has a Bugatti. He raced against Graham Stephan in his Tesla. That is not even the, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the Model S, the sportier Tesla model. That's like faster than the SUV looking Tesla. That is what Graham Stephan has. And dude, the Bugatti and the Tesla were like neck and neck. Electric cars are fast as swear word. Let's continue with this article. Humongous thank you to everybody that supported the video going over the new manual super. I was not expecting that video to do very well uh, because I've grown off of the like cool, fun, entertaining car vlog style videos. But if the new stuff is what you guys, you know, will support, it will allow me to get more content on this channel because it does not take me as long to actually get the content out there. So let's read this article. Honda tested two electric sports cars, but did not say when they're going to arrive. One is a flagship model with mid-engined supercar proportions and this NSX successor would likely wear an Acura badge in the United States. Honda calls the other car a specialty quote unquote model and it is going to appear taller with more front engine proportions. In 2017, Honda ended up revealing a slinky sports EV concept with retro styling and compact proportions, but since then, the Japanese automaker's promises for the future have revolved around electric crossovers, such as the 2024 Prologue that will employ General Motors' Ultium batteries. Now Honda has confirmed that its electric expansion will include two sports cars, which it teased in a recent announcement regarding the EV plans. Now, I do want to make a quick note that I am getting this article over on the car and driver website. Honda ended up saying that it's going to launch two sports cars globally, describing one as a specialty quote unquote model that one as a flagship quote unquote. So the flagship car that is pictured probably in the thumbnail, let's be totally honest, but it will also be on screen for the article that I am covering looks like a low slung supercar and it is likely going to be an electric successor to the honda nsx if it reaches u.s shores it will probably carry an acura badge just like the current generation the specialty model seen below sits a bit higher with more front engine proportions but we're not really sure on the positioning of this model although there have been rumors on a baby nsx so I got to be honest, this photo right here reminds me of a Ferrari that looks like a Ferrari. Uh, you can, I mean, I'll have a big picture on screen for all of you, but that reminds me of one of the older Ferraris. The top one definitely looks like some sort of an NSX and a, uh, I want to say like a, the, the, the portion that carries the driver and the passenger that portion reminds me of a mclaren like the mclaren p1 how it kind of like 
it's not like a whoop like all and then the sides are like straight down like most cars like this has that like bubbly effect in the entire center so that kind of reminds me of a mclaren in in that aspect in the same announcement honda ended up reaffirming its plans for the prologue and a related acura ev suv for 2024 that will use gm's batteries honda also said that for north america it is considering a joint venture company for battery production although this appears to be separate from the recently announced joint venture with sony that will lead to a new ev by 2025 the partnership with GM will also result in affordable EVs, quote unquote, by 2027. And Honda is aiming to release 30 electric vehicles globally by 2030 with production volume of more than 2 million cars per year. Honda also says that it will continue to research and develop solid state batteries and the company is going to be building a demonstration production line that will start building solid state batteries in spring 2024. Honda predicts that these batteries will make their way into production cars in the latter half of the decade. The company is also reducing the number of trim variants for its cars to help streamline production and reduce costs. Honda says that at the moment, it globally has half of the many trim and option levels as in 2018, and it is targeting a reduction to one third as many sub models by 2025. It looks aggressive as hell. And now that I'm thinking of it, like dumb ass, like, hello, it reminds me of my car. It reminds me of the Toyota 86. It literally is what it looks like. It looks like a Honda version of the Toyota 86 mixed in with a Ferrari with the bubbly. Let's be honest. Okay. You can hate me all you want for saying this, dude. But the FRS 86 and the BRZ, they look like exotic cars. If they did not have a Toyota logo, if they did not have a Subaru logo and they did not have a Scion logo, and you stamped a Ferrari logo on them and they were faster. They look like exotic cars. You can't tell me they don't. When you modify them, when you lower them a little bit and you actually turn them into a proper track car, you know what I mean? But anyways, the first image that looks like a mid engine car, like a mid engine exotic car, you know, Ferrari is has a couple of models with front engine cars and do let me know if you support this type of content on the channel it's not going to be like an all the time always every single day type of video because i do have a lot of fun making the super upbeat entertaining car vlog style videos and just making helpful car style videos reviewing cars and all of that kind of stuff i love making that type of content but this news type of stuff will allow me to get videos out more frequently because they take me, you know, four or five, maybe six hours to actually create and get up on the channel. Whereas these like vlog entertaining car review style videos, those take me like 20 or 30 hours to actually get footage of, you know, and then edit down and upload and all that. But anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed the video as always. If you're new, throw a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, subscribe. Check out one of the videos that are on screen. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.